Yo, what's good guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is a short but sweet video about my goals and some promises for the channel and my electrical career in 2024. It's from the intro. So I'm actually in the container. Now this is a storage container that I got for loadout actually when loadout was was still going and it was a sort of a studio storage area just for bits local to my home because uh, part of the way through last year we got rid of the warehouse we initially leased due to issues with the landlord legal issues and a dispute and then we moved to like a third party logistics warehouse which meant I could work from home but I kind of couldn't do a lot of content stuff at home so I've got this container anyway um, but it's just full of rubbish um, stuff I need to sell stuff I need to stop hoarding and throw away and um, yeah, I just want to configure it to be like a studio for this channel and yeah, like a bit of an electrical contractor set up here rather than a tool shop set up so I can actually contract out of here and do bits. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today on New Year's Day, a couple of hours I should have it sorted. But I also set some goals last night, actually, me and the wife set personal goals, uh, business goals, family goals, financial goals. And a lot of you know my goals were relevant to this channel and to my job and me. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to hold myself accountable. I'm going to make a video for you guys, check and view in the new year, but also say my goals out loud on the channel. And uh, yeah, I guess in 2025 we'll we'll see where we get to. We'll see see if I've done any of this stuff. Firstly, I hope everyone's had a good New Year's and a good Christmas. For me, the last few months have just been um, a real recovery sort of time mentally and family wise with everything we went through with Loadout. I've been trying to do content and stuff like that, but I've actually been putting myself first. Healing, unfortunately, is quite selfish. And while it's not that dramatic, it's not that deep, um, I am still healing, to be honest with you. It was a big deal for me and uh, my wife. That brings me on to my first goal for 2024 which is um, to, to post every single week on YouTube. So we, we know my consistency's not always been great. Like I've always gone through spurts of like maybe a month or two of being consistent or even six months when I first started the channel, but my consistency has always been bad. And that's partly because I started like an e-commerce business a year after starting the channel. And that took priority, that had its own YouTube channel. It was a million pound business, you know, and employees and stuff like that. So I just didn't have time, but I tried to upkeep the channel. And then the other is I just get like overwhelmed. I get burnt out and I haven't been in the best mental state as well the last probably year to 18 months, just with the stress of running a business, the stress of load out, financial stress, and yeah, just, just everything I've been through with that, because it's not easy. You know, yeah, you saw the good stuff online, but you rarely saw the the long nights, the, the not knowing where we're getting money from, how we're doing this, how we're doing that. So um, yeah, I am this year gonna post every single week, starting with today, New Year's Day, and that's gonna be educational content in it here, on-site vlogs, I've got some like real big video ideas planned as well, so that's exciting. Um, but yeah, I promise, this is not a goal, this is a promise, this one, that I'm gonna post every, at least once, every single week of 2024. So yeah, that's number one. The second goal is kind of linked to the first one, but I can't promise that. It's to reach 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. So currently we're at 37,000. And that's partly why I set the first goal as well, because I need to post at least every week if I have any dream of hitting 100K by the end of the year. But that's my goal, to hit 100K. I don't know how I'm going to do it, how I'm going to get there, but I'm determined to, to shoot for the stars, aim for the moon, I don't know. But yeah, 100,000 subscribers. I think we can do it. We're almost halfway there. And if I'm consistent and stuff, you know, like I've had a video with a million views somehow, and it's like electrical content, which isn't the biggest niche, but... Out of all the YouTubers, I've got a video with a million views. So if I can do that, I should be able to get 100,000 subscribers. I don't know. I'm not really a big numbers guy. I don't actually care that much, but I know you need the subs to, to grow and you need that social proof. And you know, the videos do better if you've got the subscribers there who want the videos. So I wanna make this a place where you want to subscribe and I'm gonna try and hit 100,000 subscribers 
by uh, the end of the year. Um, so yeah, also going to work with some sponsors, um, try build the channel up, also want to collab lots. So yeah, that's, uh, that's goal number two. Goal number three is actually going to be rudely interrupted by today's video sponsor and that is Tado and Tado for Professionals. So this is more for the domestic installers, anyone in the domestic market, but Tado for Professionals is basically an app for installers which is going to give you loads of benefits and actually line your pockets a little bit as well. Tado for Professionals is a portal for installers to sign up to, get access to manuals, guides and stuff like that on Tado products. You'll also get Tado products at a discount so you can pocket that yourself, times are very hard, or offer that discount to your customers to make yourself more competitive. You also get rewards, so the more Tado products you buy, you'll get rewards and stuff like that. And like, yeah, there's loads of other things. You get extended warranty on the product, so you can offer your customers like, oh, if you go with us, you get an extended warranty. Loads of things. I'm not gonna waffle on about it too much. I fitted a Tado system at my house. If you haven't seen that video, then click up here. Um, yeah, you can see me install it, see me run through all of the features. And if you're a domestic installer, sign up for Tado for professionals. It doesn't cost you anything. See what it's saying and I think it will benefit you. I don't do a lot of domestic work, but if I did, I know I'd be promoting and specking Tado products just because of that whole reward system, discounts, warranties. It sounds really, really good. But yeah, let's get on to, let's get on to number three. Three is, um, it's, it's quite a, uh, not a vain one, I guess, but it's a personal one for sure. And that's to regain my health and fitness um, by the end of the year. So the last three years since I started Load Out has been a roller coaster. But when you become an entrepreneur and you're working like 24 seven, basically like constantly, and then you've got like two YouTube channels and stuff like that, certain things have to slide. And one of them for me was my health. Um, I've managed to not like, yeah, lose myself too much, but I've been eating fast food takeaways or crap for like a long time. And I sort of brought it back a bit for my wedding last year. So that was cool. Um, but I still need to do a lot of work and I used to, you know, I used to run 20 kilometers a week. I used to work out. I used to, yeah, be, um, confident in my body. And that's not because I'm, I'm vain like that, but I just like to, like the way it makes me feel. I like to have that confidence uh, in myself and it, it really does make you feel better. One of the biggest things I noticed when I started eating rubbish and not working out and not looking after myself was my mental health um, was, you know, lower, I was sluggish, I'd worry more, more be more anxious and stuff like that. But um, yeah, you also just feel rubbish, no energy, like can't get through the working day without coffees and stuff like that, as you do just feel so much better. Um, yeah, it's good for the kids as well and, and, and it's just a, a, a good thing for a healthy life. So yeah, standard sort of stuff to be fair, <laughs> new year, new me. But I'm gonna regain my health and fitness, um, both physically and mentally. They're gonna be a priority above everything else in uh, 2024. The last one is to physically and mentally recover, physically and mentally recover, to financially and mentally recover from uh, load out basically. And that sounds a bit soppy and a bit deep, but I poured tens of thousands of pounds from uh, my own money, basically. Money I'd earned through residual or through contracting and stuff into the business. Money that could have gone towards a house deposit or stuff like that. And I also took on um, a lot of debt to get things off the ground, get things moving, keep things going at times. And um, yeah, it's all tied to my personal name. So I've come out in a worse position than I, if I ever started. Uh, that's just business. But I need to, as a father of two and a husband, I need to provide for my family. I need them to have a stable, financially stable environment. And you know, I take that job very seriously, basically. Um, and at the minute I'm really in my head because I feel like <laughs> I've, I've only made the situation worse and I need to bring it back. So it's a long road ahead. It's definitely, a achievable and it's something that you know I considered months ago when I ended the business um, it was you know that was one of the things I had to consider um, and also the mental recovery I had imposter syndrome for like the whole three years of load out just because you know it had done 1.5 million when you go on Shopify and see those numbers tens of thousands of orders and stuff like that 
you do get imposter syndrome and then when the business fails your worst fears are kind of realized so um, that really knocks your confidence especially when the business was built on social media and the only thing I have to return to to provide for my family and that where my actual heart is is this channel that is content based as well so you know it it can take its toll on you mentally and I just need to like get my mojo back and grow and heal and everything and that's going to be a major priority for me in uh in 2024 so yeah um recover both financially and mentally from from loadout is my key goal and you know there's there's underlying sort of milestones there and goals there as well but as a whole those are my four main ones um like i've set little financial milestones i've set little you know i want to run 20k in january and 20k a week in january sorry like little goals like that i've set but these are my four main ones basically so yeah, hold me accountable. One of them's a promise. I promise I'm gonna upload every single week this year, unless something <laughs> really bad happens to me. But even then I'll still try and make it happen. Um, but yeah, they, those are my goals and hopefully I can reach them. It's not something I normally do. If you do this and let me know what your goals are below. I've never really done this before, but it should be good for me mentally. It should be good to look back at the end of the year, see how far we got. Um, but yeah, those are my goals. Let us know yours below. I hope everyone's had an amazing Christmas, spent time with their family. I've really experienced the magic of Christmas this year because my kids are just at that perfect age. So um, that's really cool. But yeah, happy new year. I'll see you guys on the next one.